Welcome back everybody. Still on the Griddlemore tour, but on a quick vacation with my family down here near Pagosa Springs, Colorado. So the social media department back in Logan, Utah, they're still helping me out and they're putting together some flashbacks. So we're gonna dive back to a classic recipe from a few years ago, Polynesian stir fry. We have the Blackstone 36 inch griddle here tonight. This is the Ace exclusive model right here. It has a hood, it has a bottle top opener, collapsible shelves, magnetic strip, and all those bells and whistles. Heat settings for stir fry. Think about it as a wok. When you go to a, an Asian restaurant and you get Chinese takeout, etc., go to Mongolian Grill. They have super high heated, hot woks or stainless steel plate griddles that they're using, they're at like six, 700 degrees. So you wanna go as hot as possible. But having said that, my griddle four burner was running super hot tonight. It's a very hot day, very calm. So I'm actually on medium, but when in doubt, stir fry, you wanna go blazing hot. So here we go, got some oil right here. This is a mixture of olive and canola. Of course, this could be avocado oil. This stuff is good, it's just cooking oil and garlic so straight in there on the griddle top and i happen to have some chicken this happens to be diced chicken breasts okay um look at that instant here by the way if you want to come on in there and check that out and we're also going to be using black stones teriyaki seasoning you can buy this at walmart this summer uh you can use salt and pepper for sure but now that i have black stones teriyaki seasoning this summer which has soy sauce and sugar and all that good stuff. It works great with stir fry, great with seafood, great with salmon. Now this little more oil here, quick and fast folks, when you're doing stir fry, more oil right here. Bell pepper, that's a mixture of red onion. I like red onion with stir fry because of that delicious looking contrast, pleasing to the eye and pleasing to the palate and a little bit of jalapeno. You don't need to have the jalapeno if you don't want to. But put a little jalapeno, maybe a little serrano in there, if you want to uh, spice it up a little bit. We're not keeping a timer on this, so I don't know how long it's gonna be. But now I'm gonna mix that chicken in there. That chicken is cooking really quick. All right, you can see that beautiful sear on that chicken right there. I'm gonna come in with, uh, you know, you can put a little bit of greenery in there. I guess you could use bok choy or cabbage. But for some reason, I'm always using spinach because spinach is just so accessible uh, when you're out on the road or at any grocery store. So a little bit of spinach in there just to kind of green things up. And of course, that's going to give you some iron. We're cooking for my family so I can touch these tonight. The family doesn't care. That's what the udon noodles look like. We use udon noodles. I'll use the hokey noodles, a Japanese noodle, and I'll use uh, pre-cooked rice as well. But udon is probably what I use more often than not. We'll use the Japanese soba noodle. There we go. I'm trying to go fast and furious, folks. Just let you know how quick it is to make stir fry. This stuff over here is done. Fresh pineapple. There we go. Fresh pineapple chunk. This is my fusion part of the recipe, you know. Of course, pineapple. That would uh, take us in the Polynesian direction, right? Hawaii. And of course, um, the Japanese noodles and kind of a Mongolian stir fry here. So this is definitely what I would call a fusion dish. Oh, this is, don't mess around with like Latoy and that stuff. It's just not good. The mystery of sheet is really good. And this is what the restaurants use here. So that has a lot of sugar. It's gonna cook up really quick, okay? I like to use one of these foil containers right here. These are nice because you can put them down in the griddle and they're disposable. We're immediately gonna come over here, put those in there. Time is of the essence. We don't want to ruin our stir fry. We don't want to overcook these veggies. I don't want my bell peppers to be soggy, um, you know, like sauteed or anything. We want a lot of crunch in them right there. All right, I'm gonna use my spoon. I'm gonna put this up on a platter just to show you how pretty it is, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me get uh, cilantro. I like to put a little bit of cilantro on top of this. You could use Thai basil, I suppose, but a little bit of cilantro on top like that. Let me grab a little bit of sriracha here just for color. 
you know that that's gorgeous as is but boy if you zigzag just a little bit of sriracha on top <laughs> for crying out loud i mean oh delicious mm. friends this is no joke this is a real deal i really wanted to show you guys me doing this real time uh people make a big deal out of doing stir fry and they think it must be like a an, an endeavor that takes hours as you can see that we've made that and i'm sure less than 10 minutes here we go Let's give it a try. Probably sweating like crazy. <laughs> mm. I mean, what's to say? Sometimes I'll just go on and on about these recipes, right? This is good, that is good. That's phenomenal. Mm. So turn your griddle into a wok. It's the way to go. Blackstone, only on a Blackstone griddle. You can find this model of Ace. You can find our griddles everywhere from Tractor Supply to Amazon to Walmart. Uh, link in the description down below for all the new Teespring shirts. And of course, all of the other new designs are available at BlackstoneProducts.com. Until next time, this is Todd from our house here in Monument, Colorado. We're saying praise the Lord and pass the Polynesian stir fry. <laughs>